Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. It's me, the monetization chan here. Ooh woo. It's always nice to know that if everyone else leaves me in my life, I, I still will have the Muslim Federation to recommend me the KFC dating game. Thanks, Muslim Federation. Hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to the terrible Steam review show where we find certain games in certain topics and have fun with them. The Guild Free is a fascinating trade and life simulation that takes place during the late middle. Oh. Cholera simulator. Perfect. That's all I needed to know. That's right. Today's uh, topic is politics or political. We're gonna go ahead and just bite the bite the five nails on the head um, with my teeth. Trump. What do we get for Trump? I already own a game by Trump. Okay, don't judge me. I know 100% like all of these games that are under a dollar are always going to be made by some goddamn Russian company and they are just to like get a quick buck. But I, I'm really tempted to get a VR headset just so I can play this crap. Oh my god, there's, there's really some <laughs> President Trump the way in Uganda. One friend owns this. Oh, yeah. That's um... I'm kind of scared to like buy this, especially because it's, it's from... Nikita Ghost underscore Russ. Um, I'm, I, would you st will you steal my credit card information if I install this game? Oh my god. How many games has this company put out? What the hell's going on here? Oh uh, yeah, you know, what type of ga <laughs> games do you make? Oh, uh, you know, um, we just make every game. Literally, you think of it. We've Putin versus Ice. Okay, we're getting off track here. Time to go back. Oh my, crack part desp. Okay, this looks interesting. Oh my god, <laughs> what the? <laughs> of course, it's Unity. It's always made in Unity. All right, I expect nothing, and I am already disappointed. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad because he probably would tweet this. Oh my Jesus Christ. Right, that's enough of this game! Right, now we're actually looking at the political section, and hopefully we can actually go ahead and find some interesting games to play. Preferably one where you're not shooting Mexicans out of the sky. Wait, Crusader Kings 2 Imperial Collections are only £2.40. Wait, so is that because... Yep, yeah, that's because I own all this DLC already. How much is it if I didn't? Oh, it doesn't even tell me. They know. They knew I was I was about to ridicule the hell out of them then. Poor Patrol on a roll. Action family friendly adventure. Dark comedy. <laughs> you know, I would. I would do it. But it's just, I can't do it. Let's get off. What the? A Academia School Simulator plus Political Animals. Do I even want to know? Political Animals is an election campaign simulation. Oh my god, no. It's furry stuff, isn't it? Those Canadians. They were always going to be goddamn lumberjack beavers if that was their first owner. Alright, this looks cursed. As Wait, mixed reviews? How could this have mixed reviews? Like, this looks like an absolute banger of a game. You know, I'm looking through this now, and a lot of the critique for it is that it's not too realistic, and it's, um, it's just, it's not good, it's not in-depth enough, and, um, you know what? Sorry, guys. <laughs> what did you expect from Political Animal? Right, if I was going to be the type of person to mess around with animals and have a fursona, which type of animal would I be? There you go, I'd be the buffalo. We've got the same lifeless stare. Ah, I see they've, um, they've tactically renamed real-life countries to ones that couldn't be mistaken <laughs> for, uh... <laughs> Uh, okay, where, who do I want to play as, I guess, um, could do Japan, we could do, Eng you know what, we're gonna do Japan, arigato, cause I was, uh, there you go, I'm gonna select all of the, the police hippos as my, um, my, my people, because that's, um, kind of the, the platform I'm going for, it's kind of like a new age type of fascism deal, led by a giant buffalo, who's got a lifeless stare, oh, I can actually go ahead and set myself to be corrupt. <laughs> look at you, you little, you little corrupt buffalo bastard. Oh my god, look. <laughs> there, there I am, with the, the hippo Gestapo. I have no idea what we're doing, but we do need to beat this Rastafarian goat into submission. That is our opponent, and I, I will 
gets the, to the end that we take him down. Okay, so immediately we can go ahead and start lobbying, um, just spending all this money that has been thrown at us, and, uh, you know, by impartial people. You know, they just they'll slip a dollar or two, and then, you know, later on they'll be like, Hey, uh, Mr. President, you couldn't fix that pothole outside my, uh, outside my front door, could you? Except it's not a pothole. It's a couple of dead bodies. A former dictator on the island of Japan has died. <laughs> oh, gee, I, I wonder which one that could have been. Um, well, obviously, considering Buffalo wants to be the next dictator, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to attend the funeral. Uh, I imagine they probably have a buffet there. And, uh, buffaloes love buffets. I oh, am. Not even, like, two turns in. I'm already bribing people to vote for me. Oh, yeah. I say I wanted my hippo police to start raising funds next to this temple. And I, I'm 100% sure I am robbing people. You receive a visit from the police. They show you a video of one of your staff burying money in a convent. We believe that your staff is still stealing from you and would like to interrogate him. What the hell, guys? I thought we were gonna rob everyone else, but you're robbing me! I, I think this is gonna be the last turn on the map right now, which means the election's gonna be coming forward, and I don't know how close it's gonna be, because Buffalo, he fought a hard game. All those people he beat up and robbed, that was pretty good. He did that a lot, he's getting a lot of votes there in that prefect, that's pretty good. Um, are you gonna win, Buffalo? I mean, he just got a lot of votes in that one. Stay right there, that's probably not good. In fact, this isn't... Oh, I know, we got a lot in that one. It's kind of neck and neck right now. It, it, it could be anyone's game right now. It could be the Buffalo or it could be the Rastafarian Goat. Realistically, though, if, if Buffalo doesn't win this, he 100% will be going to prison for electoral fraud. Racketeering. Uh, definitely all the thieving we did, that's probably going to get up there. Um, the corruption charges are going to be pretty hefty. And, uh, I did, I did pay a small pig to try and kill the goat. Did I say that live on air? Was this over yet? Have I won? Who's won? This is really quite close. It was like, it was a, yeah, oh god, there's like 30,000 votes between us right now, but I have taken the lead. Buffalo is, is going wild right now. He's doing what he, oh, I, we got that one too. What's left? There's like, oh, is this prefect you up here? Come on, we can do it, baby. There you go, dictator Buffalo. He won. I had, there was no strategy behind this win, by the way. I just kept robbing people. Alright, what is going to be our last game for today? We we had political, we had Trump, and now we're just doing politics to mustache pol politics. Why? Why? Why is that a thing? I don't know. Um, Goose Game would recommend, said Guilford. But at the same time, you know, two people left, like, the exact same review. Um, I've tasted Dookie out of... Okay. My name is Eugene. It says Eugene. Alright, last game I wanted to check out was Rebel Inc. Escalation, which if you think that sounds pretty familiar, spot on, buddy. It's very familiar because it's made by the same guys who made Pandemic, and it's kind of like the same principle, but with rebellions, not deadly plagues that um, kill you. Oh! I get, to, I get to name my... Oh, wait, I, I don't want to be the Hopeful Dawn. That's, I, if I'm going to lead a rebel insurgency, the last thing I want to be called is the Hopeful Dawn. What about, like, the Blood Dawn? The... The Painful Dawn? Penis. Yeah, yeah I think we're just going to go with Penis Dawn. They'll have no idea what we're about, and that's what I'm into. we got to confuse the enemy. Okay, here we go. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. I've gone ahead and I, I've set up the, uh, the, the penis door <laughs> to our headquarters up here in the mountains. If I've learned anything from the Taliban, it's, uh, that, the mountains will do you well. Hey, what the hell? I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be a, re a rebellion here, and I, I have the option to build main roads and highways. Who the hell do you think I am? We'll go straight to the military ta- Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Taliban. Ever tell me about your development bank? <laughs> Great. As my rebel insurgency, I, I need to watch out for inflation. Really? Wait a second, military initiative is authorized. Insert, wait, am, am I even the rebels? What the hell's going on? Uh, I thought I was the rebels, but no, I, I just choose to live in the mountains. That's my civilization. I've got to put down the rebels. Why the hell did I call myself Penis Dawn then? Whatever. I mean, um, to be fair, 
it doesn't look like it's going too well. All those little red blobs right there, some in insurgents, and uh, they're just sort of running around my country, burning stuff to the ground. And you know what? I'm fine with that. I thought I was a rebels. What's the point? Oh well. O Operation Penis Dawn ran out of reputation in 2000. So well, that's to be fair. Operation Penis Dawn did think because they were called Operation Penis Dawn that they might have been the bad guy. Yeah, uh, tried it again, and uh, once again, um, Penis Dawn immediately just got overrun by little red scratchy itchy things that have taken him down completely. Yeah, uh, we actually we actually did worse because Penis Dawn only ran out of reputation in 2007 before, and now it's 2006, so we are technically just getting worse. Oh uh, yeah, that was a quick look at Rebel Inc. Uh, looks like it'll be a fun game. Uh, you know, putting down some insurgents all the time, which was, you know, it was pretty fun. I thought I could have been the insurgents, but you know what? I, I essentially was anyway, really. It was just Rebels versus Rebels. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video and want to see me do some more weird Steam games, there are plenty more that I have done on my channel. Feel free to go have a look at them. There'll also be the end screen that'll pop up at the second once this video is over. And if you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like hit the subscribe button down below. And I will see you again with another terrible list of games to play. Probably, unless I get taken over by the penis dawn. <laughs>